Karen Bryant for MMA Heat. I'm here with Keith Jardine. I want to know how you feel about this fight tonight because that was quite a war. You put on quite a performance. How do you feel about the decision? You know, uh, it's just a bitter taste having a draw, you know, just having uh, trained for two days for this fight. You know, I've never been so tired before, and I, I just I gutted out so much, was going for that win, and, and now just a draw, you yeah. know, whatever, man. Um, but uh, I'm going to stay real positive about it. You mentioned in the press conference that some people said to you, hey, Keith, you got nothing to lose coming into this. But you don't agree with that, right? Oh, fuck that. Um, no, anybody says that, like I said, it's not a fighter. Um, you, you, go on the, you, go on, you go on the cage just to win, and, 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 and losing is a horrible, horrible prospect. And uh, I, I believe me, I had a lot to lose in this fight. And at least I didn't lose, you know. Um, but that's not the way I fight. I fight to win. I thought your takedowns were very, very effective tonight. You scored several of those. Something obviously you were you were preparing for against Kagar. Yeah, <laughs> and all the two days of practice. But uh, no, no, I've been working on my takedowns. Uh, I'm trying to reinvent myself a little bit. I was already on my way to 185, so I started dieting a week ago. So it made the cut pretty easy. So yeah. So where do you think you'll stay then, as far as weight? We'll see. I'll have to talk to the bosses, but um, my, my, I, I, I think. Uh, my, my career is not going to be finished until, until I wear that belt, and uh, and that's part of my new uh, uh, my reinvention, making over myself is, is is now I'm going to concentrate on my diet like everything else. I, I train hard, but now I need to concentrate on my diet and get back down 185, and and I feel in a fight or two I, I could be wearing that belt. Mm -hmm. Did you feel the love? You're you're a, a crowd favorite, a fan favorite. I've seen you fight before in the UFC. People love to see you in the room. Did you feel the love? Absolutely, man. I love the fans and. and um, I'm very proud of never being in a boring fight and and, uh, and just um, the fans like on Twitter and everything. It's great, man, the support I get. Uh, and I'm so happy to be back with Zuffa and, and, and a big event like, like uh, Strike Force. That's why I couldn't turn this down. Mm -hmm. Last thing is uh, I've been texting back and forth with our friend Rashad. I know that you guys are really tight. He told me you actually like looking banged up like this. He said, how's he feeling? I said, he doesn't look good, my friend. He looks a little bit bad. And he said he likes feeling that way. He likes looking that way. Is that true? Absolutely, man. Uh, I, th I, think, I think if I just walked in the ring and walked out without getting hit, I'd still look like this, man. Uh, I don't know what it is. I always cut. I always bleed. And, and I think that's, what, that's what, why I, I um, like that Matt Hamill fight. I, I, thought, I thought I won that fight. And, and, and I thought I won the first two rounds here. But it just looks bad because I'm a bleeder, man. Um, you touched me with a jab and I'm bleeding. It just looks bad for the judges. Um, maybe I need to do something about that. Well, I know Nick Diaz knows some uh, plastic surgeons who can at least fix the eyebrows. But you're not cutting the eyebrow too bad. You're all right. No, there. no, I got three stitches, three cuts in the eyebrows, man. Um, and that's what the surgeon told me, man, is I need to get that fixed. Yeah. Well, Keith, it's really a pleasure seeing you fight again here. And uh, we wish you the best. Thank you, man. Thank you. This is Keith Jardine, and you're watching MMA Heat.